Excuse me, uh, I work for uh, Cornelius Police Department. Uh, can you take us to the crime scene? Uh, we were walking and, uh, and I don't know, uh, somebody came up behind us and attacked me with a skateboard and I fell into the dirt. Kind of knocked me out for a second. I think I broke my leg. And then, uh, did you see where he ran? Yeah, he ran off that way, but I don't know who it was. Uh, could you identify the suspect, uh, anything, what he looked like? Um, did you see him? I didn't see him, I got knocked out. Yeah, was it, really it was all just a blur? Yeah. Okay. Was it just up here? Yeah, right there. Alright, well, we're going to do some looking around. See any specific treads in the footprint? Uh, yeah, I can. I could pick out the tread design and the Nike logo. After measuring the footprint, I think our perp is about six foot six one. Hey, look, we found a shoe. It appears to be the same size and has the same tread. Well, whoever left the shoes is obviously going to come back for it. So let's wait off to the side. Yes, um, you know, the movie, it was, it was great. We had a lot of fun shooting the movie. It was a lot of work, you know, a lot of good details that we had to make sure we're in, like the footprint, we had to make sure there's a good firm footprint in the mud, uh, had to make sure the cops came up, you know, they noticed the footprint. That was a big part of finding out who took a shot at me with a skateboard. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a... <laughs> <laughs> it took a pretty hard fall there. Yeah, no, it kind of knocked me out a little bit. Um, yeah, I can see your uh, Yeah. Like, that no, that was, that was something else, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So, um, let's talk about a little bit of the process that goes into um, actually matching the footprint with the uh, perp over here, David. Oh, man. Okay. Our crime lab person isn't here, but uh, I think we'll, we'll okay. be able to match. Yeah, so can you tell me what does footprint evidence consist of? Uh, you want to footprint take this one evidence. Or you want me to take this one? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You, no, no, go ahead. You got it. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, footprint evidence is, are it's like the characteristics of the footprint that can be used to track down the specific uh, shoe that it came from. You okay. know, like uh, specific marks in the bottom of the shoe, like a Nike sign or Adidas symbol. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And uh, so, David, what can uh, footprint evidence tell us? It can tell us <laughs> an approximate height and shoe type, usually. Okay. And one of the questions that the uh, crowd had here is, what's the difference between class and individual evidence? Oh, that's, uh, that's an easy one. I can do that one. Um, 
or class evidence, you know, it sums it sums down the shoe that you're looking for into like a, a big group of shoes. Like there's a Nike sign, there's obviously a Nike shoe. If there's a Nike sign with a little LeBron symbol off to the side, then it's a Nike LeBron shoe, you know? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um how reliable is foot parameters actually? Oh it's oh man. It's actually so reliable. <laughs> I mean, okay. they've been using this since late 1800s, maybe early 1900s. So, oh, I mean, they have obviously know what they're doing at this point. Yeah. If they're catching criminals, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they caught him. Yeah. yeah. Caught me. He wasn't the greatest criminal of all time, but we won't get into that today. And my thing is, are there standards for um, matching footprint evidence? Yes. They have to be <coughs> no. Yes, exactly. they usually have oh, to be okay. exact matches. Oh. Okay. Like. Just making sure. Yeah. You good, buddy? I'm, I'm sure he does. <laughs> kind of choked on the water, you know? <laughs> so what are the three categories of footprint evidence? I'll take this one. Okay. Latent, um, they're latent impressions, or okay. like, they're 2D. Uh, there's also, there's two kinds of 2D impressions. There's latent, and then there's visual. Mm -hmm. uh, latent impressions are when, say, you have blood on the bottom of your shoe, you're walking, you leave a footprint of oh, blood okay. now those are the ones that are harder to recover so usually at a crime scene the cops will come and they'll like you know take a picture of it to uh to Analyze. keep it okay. i guess because they to, pre pre to preserve it would yeah. be the correct word okay. yeah um and then visual it's like say there's a really really dirty floor you're walking and you step in a pile of dust maybe dust gets up to your shoe, it leaves a space where the dust used to be, you know, mm -hmm. leaves a footprint there. And then the third kind is uh, casting. And casting is usually like a crime scene. I think they did this at ours actually. They um, <coughs> they filled the footprint mold with uh, plaster. Oh. And once the plaster. <laughs> I actually didn't know this, right? Yeah. Um, Anyways, <laughs> casting, <laughs> they get the plaster, the plaster hardens, and when you pick the plaster up out of the ground, it leaves a mold of the footprint. Oh, okay. So can you tell me a little bit about what positive and negative impressions are? Okay. <laughs> positive impression is like a 2D impression. It's left on the surface. Uh, a negative impression actually goes into the surface and leaves a hole. And now, how do you exactly collect footprint evidence? <laughs> By, um, sorry, I had to get a, had to get some more water. <coughs> By a picture or plaster, usually. Those okay. are the two main options. Yeah. Alright, so can you describe to me a brief history of the use of footprints as evidence? Uh, yeah, so like I said earlier, it's, it's probably been used since the 1900s. I mean, the date is a little iffy. There's a little speculation to when. I'm pretty sure the first print was this was first used as criminal evidence in I believe it was 1816. Oh okay 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 yeah. thank you. So you know you're like 100 years off, but it's okay. Yeah. Okay thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> Fun All fact right. though, the first ever footprint that uh, they have on record is about 1.5 million years old. Oh wow! Something like that. Yeah. The Remember? Kenyan one, right? <laughs> yes. Did you say yeah, that? No. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. I did actually. Oh. Okay. It's just something I Google on my free time. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question, please. Um. Yeah. So this isn't really a question, but just kind of like a little bit of background information. So, can is there another case similar to yours where uh, footprint evidence was used as a major role? Actually, it was uh, about two or three years back. I remember a big case. Um, <clears throat> what happened was there was a man. He was leaving a casino. And he had like a bunch of money in his pocket. You know, you leave a casino. You had a good night. You, you walk out with big money. Oh, yeah, I know how <laughs> Well, a couple gangsters at the club followed him out, you know, jumped him, stole his car, stole his cash. Beat him pretty bad, ran him over with his own car, you know. Oh Doesn't get worse than that. Um, and one of them actually left a footprint on his head. They oh, stomped wow. on his head. 
big footprint right here across the middle of his forehead, you know. Um, cops actually used that footprint to try to find the shoe and track down who it was that stomped on their head. And I don't remember exactly how the case ended, but I do remember they, last I heard they were going through the different, um, different manufacturers and local stores to find out like where they had, you know, sold the shoe. Did they ever find the guy who stomped him? I don't remember actually. I, you know, it's, it was, it was gang related. So, you know, yeah. there's a lot of trouble hunting down gangs and, yeah, you know, there's so many people that buy shoes. Yeah. So, yeah. It's kind of hard. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. No, no, of thank course, you. No, of course. Is there anything else you guys would like to add? Um, my name's David. Oh. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> yeah. Been living here for like, what, 13 years at this point? Wow. Yeah. I'm an actor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also a rapper, you know, check us out on SoundCloud. Oh, yeah, SoundCloud. In the Dropping video. a mixtape. Don't <laughs> sleep on us. Good. Okay, cheers. 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 Yeah, case of the footprint. David, we gotta be in the video first. <laughs> yeah, you can hurry up. Pick up the sound, baby. Alright, nah, bro, I'm not dead. I'm gonna just sit up and I'm gonna just be sitting there. Wait, like, I'm gonna fucking lay. Okay. Alright. Come on! Damn! It's hot! We're not taking. I gotta do it. I gotta go. Why did that go through the lock? <laughs> <laughs> Why did that go through the lock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the criminal! <laughs>